Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to show you how to get set up correctly in Google Plus. Okay, if you're going to be using Google Plus and Google Hangouts with your Gmail. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go into a cogwheel on the right hand side. This is your friend over here in Gmail and pretty much on any of the Google applications. So I click, click on here, I click on settings. Okay, and then I click on labs. And you'll see here, um, you'll see it down the bottom because I've already selected it, it'll be up here at the top. I have um, enable right side chat. And that, that allows my chat all to be here on the right hand side, okay? All right, the, so that's how you get that set up. Okay, so enable the right side chat. You'll probably see it near the bottom around about here, okay? And you can enable a few of the other things, you know, I've got canned responses, Google Calendar widget, Google Maps email and all that sort of stuff. But, but that's the main thing. Now, if you're seeing, if you're not seeing, if you're seeing the old Google chat, you're not seeing something like this, click on the little uh, drop arrow there and it'll ask you if you want to try the new Hangouts and say yes. Okay, it'll reload and you'll get the new Hangouts immediately. Your, your chat will probably be down here on the left hand side somewhere, okay. Um, and you want to get that over here to the right hand side. It's a, it's a great application uh, for, for, for use. Now if you're using iPhone, you can download the Google, the Google Hangouts iPhone application and, and the Google Plus iPhone application. If you've got Android, you probably already had it, but you can download the Google Plus and the Google uh, Hangouts application. Just remember always, if you're going to use Google products and on your phones, always make sure it says from Google Inc. Okay, so it's from Google, it's not from a third party because otherwise you'll get some tacky version of it. Okay, so how do we go for, get from Gmail to Google Plus? Well, it's quite simple. If you're already set up, you'll see Plus Peter or, or Plus Your Name over here. Another way is by clicking on the little nine buttons here, the little nine squares formed into one square, will actually get you to all the Google apps, okay, that you get with your, 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 uh, your systems, okay? You can even click on more and you get more, okay? So that's how you get there. This little bell icon is notifications. It, it gives you notifications of things if, if you've got messages and or your new photos have been uploaded or, or all that sort of stuff. It'll give you notifications of all the goings on, all right? Uh, people who have added you back, all that sort of stuff. And here's the share, share button, but you don't need that. So we're gonna jump right into Google Plus. Okay, you'll see here, um, the, these are some of my uh, circles that I've got here, okay? And they're all my other circles. I've got truckloads of circles because I'm super organized, okay? So basically, uh, my, the acquaintances of people that have added me that I find of some interest, but I'm not that interested in them, but they've added me and they've added them back, okay? Agent point at my company, things and stuff like that. Okay, so I've forgotten where I was at. Uh, there, but when, when, once you log in, you'll see uh, basically all the stuff. Now, here's a little key over the left-hand side. This is where you get to all your good stuff, all right? Your profile. So this will be your profile, and if you want to update it, click on the About, okay? And you'll be able to edit information about about you. Really important it is that you, that you set up where you contribute, all the sites that you write for, okay? All your social media networks, blah, 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 and any links that you like, okay? Um, all your different email addresses, your phone numbers, etc., etc. Uh, down below is all your private stuff, so you don't want to show that. Uh, but that won't be seen. You can choose what's seen and what's not seen by the public or, or, or certain individuals, okay? All right, so you can also update your photo and update the cover image, which I suggest you do, because it does make a bit of a difference, okay? Even though I'm an ugly bugger. Okay, so from there, you can go from your profile to people. Now, with people, you can, you can have a look at your, all your Gmail contacts, and if you've got other email programs, I would suggest you you export and import all your contacts into your, into your, Google, your contacts folder, which you can get to very easily by going to Mail and Contacts there, up here, in your email, and you've got all your contacts there. I've got 9,700, which is a lot. Uh, and you can make sure you get, get them all correct. Like mine are very nicely organized. I've got them all in nice little groups and, and uh, in, in all nicely organized okay so I suggest you do this okay so I'm sorry if you're getting it I'm getting notifications but I've got to I've got to be actually in this system while I'm actually doing stuff okay now if 
with your circles, you can add people to your circle, to your different circles that you have, okay? Uh, so if you see someone you know, you can add them to a circle, okay? If you don't know them, you don't need to add them, um, but you'll see all that. And then you'll see different from your companies, from different companies and from, from your schools that you went to and all this sort of stuff, from your other accounts, all that. So it's all pretty cool, all right? So then from people, you can go to your photo albums, which I'm not gonna show you because you'll be able to see all my photo albums. Um, communities, now you can join communities or you can create your own community. Um, and basically I've got, I manage quite a few different communities, but there's all different types of communities. You just type in and you can join a community or you can start your own. And it's a great idea, you know? Uh, and that, communities allow everyone to contribute to them. Then you get to your events which you can create events, and you can even have them if you've got a WordPress website, we've got a great plugin called Yakinata Google Plus Events, and that allows you to suck your events into your website. Okay, then you've got your Hangouts, which if you want to hang out with people, you can do that. Okay, you can do Hangouts on air or just standard video Hangouts. Then your pages, which are your company pages. Okay. Then you've got Google Local, Okay, where you can actually find places, local local places, and then you've got your settings. Now, the one thing I suggest you do do with your settings is if you're uploading photos, I've got like 120 gigabytes of storage used already. Okay, but what I do is I, I have um, uploaded my photos at full size. I don't want to have you know I want to have a, a, a storage system where I've got all my photos stored nicely. Okay. I don't want to have it where they cut down the size of it. So make sure you have that upload photos at full size. You get, a, I mean, I've purchased extra storage, but you get a truckload of storage for very uh, for free. Um, so you shouldn't use that up, okay? But go through these things and choose what you want to choose and and, and, and the information you want to have. Um, but that's basically a tour tour of Google of Google Plus, okay? Now, when you're posting items. To Google Plus, you can just put your URL of a, of a web of a, of a post or a news article from your website, and it automatic it should automatically grab the information, and then you can type it in. You can use hashtags such as that, or if you want to identify people, you would put in a plus, and I would put in say my my social media person Daphne, and that will that will message her that I've that I've done that okay, that I that I've mentioned her in a post. You can. Just put links in there. You can put videos in there. Okay, you can also publish, publicize and create a quick event, sorry. So you can do all of those things within Google within Google Plus. Now you'll see that some of these have got hashtags with WordPress and stuff like that. Make sure you hashtag everything and don't overdo it with keywords because that doesn't work. Get Make sure the hashtag is really relevant to the post you, you, you're posting. So, and, and that's very simple to do. It's, it's a simple hashtag then with the keyword, okay? And then next, there you go, that's a hash. There you go, that's quite easy. Now, if you, now a great thing about Google Plus compared to say Facebook is, it's very easy to actually post something where it just goes to a specific group of people. So as an example, if I'm traveling, I might take a bunch of photography and I, want to, I might want to share it with my uh, family. So I can, I can type in um, closet, uh, I can type in a, 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 a circle, okay, and I can type in family, okay, um, and that's my close family, that one. So I can just type it in and it will only send it to all my, you know, my mum, my dad, my sisters and brothers, a brother, okay. So you can actually, you can actually have, when you post something, you can just have it shared with this, uh, certain people. You can have it shared with one individual, you can have it shared with everyone, that's up to you, okay. So that's a basic overview of, of, of Google+. Plus. I haven't gone deep into everything, but it just gives you a good way to do things. So remember, this is your friend home. This is your friend here where you can jump from different applications. This gets you back, or this always gets you back to uh, your, your profile or to your home page, okay, on Google Plus. And this is notifications, okay? Easy peasy, Japanesey.